What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Gamer Dude here today with another special episode of the Pokemon Bl White 2 Randomized Nuzlocke. I caught myself. I did good. Anyway, today's episode, we actually can't do it. Can we, can we not do a team? Okay, yeah, we can. Okay. Last episode, we did go ahead and do Pokestar Studios. It was kind of boring, not gonna lie. Today, we have a lot more of an exciting episode for you today, as there might be a mid-episode grinding montage. Potentially. Probably not, but there might be, because I have no freaking clue what level Berg is, and I feel like Berg is way higher than 19, because Roxy was 21, so we're really kind of just skating by here, doing something we should not be doing, but who gives a rat's butt? We got... Chill the Jirachi with Magnet Bomb, Metal or Metal Burst, Steel Wing, and Psycho Shift. We got Metamag the Celebi with Light Screen, Grass Pledge, Energy Ball, and Solar Beam. And we got Gardevoir Beagers, named Beagers, with the moves Camouflage, Thrash, Heal Order, and Confusion. Um, so it is still snowing outside, but it's about to turn into rain, which is gonna make some sleet. But that's okay. Um, I'm excited though to get to today's episode because. There's a lot that's going to be going on. Um, Aaron really kind of scares the living daylights out of me because he's got freaking, of course, he has water spot on his Samurai. But honestly, encounters in here, they're all pretty fine and dandy. The, the fact that we're on par with the encounters, though, and he's level 23 does scare me quite a bit. So I'm hoping that nothing too terrible happens and that these trainers don't have super high levels because they... Honestly, have a big potential of that, and we'll find out right now. Magby is level 18. Okay, we're fine. With that being level 18, we are indeed fine. We do have to go into Beegers, though, because Beegers is the only one that can take hits from this thing. Um, but yeah, oh, Fire Puncher, that's going to hurt a little bit. What, five damage? Holy crap. That's a little bit more than five damage. I'm just going to say that right now. Please just kill big ours. Oh, shit. Nikes, Batman. We got a lot of potions, though, so that part we can be happy about. But we definitely are going to have to... Uh... Um... Wait, why did... Why did that... Why did that do the same amount of damage as Fire Punch? Huh? That did the same exact amount of damage that a Fire Punch would. I am very confused right now, as Feebas is the next Pokemon that's going to come out. And luckily, Feebas poses no threat. I can just heal order, not waste a potion. Rain dance all at once, but we are good in that standpoint. But I am, yeah, I'm very confused at why it did that. Having heal hoarder actually is very nice because I don't that I can be reservative, or can re I can reserve my potions for actual times like the fire punching. Um, chip away. Okay, five damage. <laughs> I call it exactly right. I like when I do that. As Judgment. Jesus, Feebas has uh, some interesting moves, not gonna lie. As Beegers does go up to level 17. And is trying to learn Tail Whip. No. Uh-uh. No. Not at all. You are not learning that move at all. But we do need to not run away from these trainers then. Or the, the encounters so we can get... Uh, levels that way. Expert belt. Ooh, that's actually really nice. Okay, hold on. That is very nice. We are actually gonna go ahead and give the expert belt. Uh, I think to chill. Because chill's kind of our lead mon, so that's a good person to give, like, stuff like that to. Um, we want chill to level up in levels. Oh, wow. Blastoise and Mianfu. There's a lot of interesting, like, there's so many interesting mons right now. It's very, very cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and steal wing the Mayunfu because we might as well try and get that out of the way as quick as possible. Nice! And then if you water spout, that'd be great. Yes! Aaron! 
You have you have literally like the best move in the game. Not gonna lie. Hydro pumping me probably. Yup. How could I predict that one? Yeah, Aaron, 150 base power. I like that a lot, actually. And does Aaron just straight up heals me right after every battle, I believe. So I can turn... I can be... I'm at full health, correct? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, this is a perfect opportunity to train and do stuff because... Shoot. Uh, I'm going to avoid him real quick because trainers, you know, you don't want to... You don't want to mess that up. And knowing that I get healed, like, Aaron's going to be, like, the best person in the world right now. Not going to lie. Although it says we have five. Oh, maybe he has two. He might have two mons now. And that's why it said that. I was like, that's weird. Not really. But, yeah, knowing that we Oko Mianfu, really good. And knowing if he, water he can water spout crit and kill that, too, like, yeah. Bam, exactly. Like, knowing that doesn't make me scared at all. I can just use Aaron to, like... Aaron can be my bitch at this point because... I li all I need to do... And I'm interested. If I hit... The Huntail... He's faster... So, can he water spout kill everything? He actually might be able to. Yeah. Bam! Dude, let's make Aaron do all this work. I would much rather get myself away from the danger and just have Aaron do that. Ironhead, let's go! Yeah! Aaron! Oh my god, yes! Uh, frick yeah! Ironhead! Oh, the 60% chance to flinch! We're gonna be bitches! 60% chance to flinch at level 20. Let's go. Oh, yeah! Oh my gosh. Okay, Metal Burst. I am just gonna get rid of that. Let's go. We can have a 40% chance to raise our defense, a 60% chance to flinch. We are. We're out here. We're out here doing the do. Like, honestly, um, we're really out here. Um, it's unfortunate that these trainers, like, ooh, Star Raptor, that's perfect. Uh, that's actually going to give us, grant us a very good amount of experience, so we will take that 100%. Level 19 with Intimidate, that's fine. We're just going to use our Iron Heads to our heart's content, because we should be faster. Oh, we're not. Ooh, present, heal, heal, aw. We aren't faster than this thing. Our 100 base speed, that's unfortunate. Hurricane, that's fine too. Because again, Aaron just heals us. Oh, nice confusion chance. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Why not? You know? That, that would happen. Leer. Oh, we're good. I just casually down the can of Diet Coke. And we're good. Eleven fifty eight. Look at that. Chill is amazing. Chill is the best Pokemon that we could have hoped for. Um Oh, Wurmple. Okay. Dude, if we if we get a shiny in here, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Like, I guess that's the one drawback of Aaron having, like, fantastic moves, is Aaron could literally, if we encounter a shiny, Aaron can kill it. Oh, why'd you Hydro Cannon? Aaron! This is why I can't trust you. Because you do that. Will this level me up to level 21? It should. Look at that. We got 44 speed. Okay, that's good to know that our speed's actually kind of... It's not super slow, but it is a little slow. It's on the slower end of the spectrum, in my opinion. 
Oh, that guy just heals us too, but it doesn't matter because we get like ultimately healed. Power lens. What does that do? Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's sleep now. Oof. Okay. Um, Pokemon or uh, items, not Pokemon. It promotes special attack gain on leveling, but reduces the speed stat. Yeah, it's not really a good thing for right now, so we'll keep that in the back of our minds. Hey, Fennel. Is that where we wanted? Do we actually go where we wanted to? I guess. Wow. I love getting revives because I can't use them. Um, dang, that's a freaking shift train of a champ. Holy crap, Batman. That's, that's some pretty good power right there. We're going to kill the shift tree though, because shift tree needs to go because shift tree is the bigger threat. And then Just knowing that it's Samrot's level 23 is very scary to me, at least. Uh, can we go this way? Is there anything over here? No. Okay. Uh, it's good to know that there's really nothing over here that we need to get. Ooh, double Fampies. No, I'm just waiting for the shiny to pop up and then me to lose it because just would be John Luck. Um... That there would be a shiny that pops up, but because Aaron would and Aaron would kill it, like Mewtwo and it's a Mewtwo and a troll. Let's go. There is some wild mons in here that I would love to get. Mewtwo's got pressure. I'm just gonna run because oh, I can't get away. Uh oh, uh oh. Who are you killing, the troll or the Mewtwo? Good choice, Aaron. Keep that troll alive. Troll deserves to stay alive. Oh! <laughs> okay, maybe not. Troll's got Zap Cannon. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, that's not good. But we need to keep the troll alive, so... Troll is an amazing person who deserves to stay alive. Okay. Can we actually get out of this place? Like, I can't get out of this place to save my life. Ah, uh, but that's okay. No, like, it's kind of crazy, though, to, like, see Troll. And I, I'm, like, I don't know what Troll's shiny would look like, but I'm very interested. Yeah, I want to I wanna battle him. I don't care. That'll give us free healing once our rival runs away from us. So, and a Corpish. It's Ryan! It's Ryan, guys. Funny story about Ryan. I found out that Ryan is a solid five days younger than me. Like, what the actual heck? Ryan, as better known as King Corpish, is five days younger than I am. I was like, wait, are you kidding me? Like, you're the... Because in my head, he's like 22. Because he's been doing YouTube for so long. And mind you, I'm not even going to say it because I've said it enough. But still, I'm like, whoa, you're 20... Like... It just baffles me sometimes. Some of these people's ages. It's like, wait, what? So, I just, I sometimes I'm like, I just don't get it. I don't understand. Oh, God, don't freeze me. Um. Oh, okay. So, he's going to straight up heal me. That's good. I'm glad. I mean, I don't really need it, but. At least we have it when we do. But yeah, um... Regirock, oh, Regirock did nothing. 
Or, um, that did nothing to Regirock. I mean, that makes sense, though, because Regirock is legitimately a good Pokemon. Wampus got Fire Punch, you know? What? So... What is in here? An empty room. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. So we're going to figure this out. Uh, I'm going to end the recording here because Papa, our boy Papa, is going to record that CMS that choose my starter. Because apparently that's not a universal term and we need to make it one. Um, and I will be right back. And I'll probably just trade up when, with Aaron in here. So we'll figure it out. Okay. Okay, we back. Okay. So, of course, we stopped the last episode because I drew the Choose My Starter that is premiering. And probably by the time you see this, already premiered. So, we're out here. We're, we're ready. I don't know where in the heckin' world we're going. So, bear with me because I'm lost completely. I'm not surprised, though. Ooh, double Grambles. Okay, so there's Grambles in here. They're not Fairy-type yet. Not yet. But they will be at some point. Um, oh, double Intimidate. Yeah, we're just gonna run. Honestly, we don't need to be in here. Also, did Intimidate not work on both? I, I swore Intimidate worked on both mods, but I guess not. I guess not in this game. Not in Gen 5, but in later gens, it definitely did that. Ooh, awesome. Okay, item is... Wait. Oh, I think we have to wait till post game to even get to Nimbasa City. Oh, that hurts my soul. That really does. Because I think we literally, I don't think there's any way of reviving that static fossil. We need Pokemon super badly. That, that was like perfect. But we can't get it. <laughs> That's a power duo. That's some scary stuff right there. Luckily, neither of those. I'm running away, by the way. Like, if I can. Yeah, okay, good. Because Moltres is a bit scary. Not gonna lie. Wait, what? Why did this music pop up before? I'm turning this up. What's interesting? So let me turn on my volume mixer. That's better. I think. I don't know. Is this better? Like, I, I will find out, I guess. Um, I'm an iron head. As I definitely just clicked Steel Wing, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, it's still one shot. Okay. I don't need to waste my Iron Heads then. Oh, I crit. That's why. <laughs> level 22. See, we're leveled up so, like, fast. It's not even funny. Sorry, I love this music. That's, that's cool. That wasn't there before, so that's really cool that it is there now. Um, but I'm trying my darndest. Oh, well, shoot. That's the wrong way. I'm, like, trying to f spend my time figuring out the right way to go. Because that's what the end of this episode is. Like, we're nearing the end of the episode, that is. Not the end of the series. But the fact that, like, because I want to get my encounter before we end the episode. So I can have another Mon to add to the Squado. Because our Squado is kind of bad -o. As much as I love our squad, it's, it's all psychic type still, and that's a problem when we head into further areas. Because as we head into, oh, I can't go that way either. What the heck, old smart man? Um, I'm not sure, but I swear we're. 
This is gonna be the route where we find a shiny. This is gonna be where we find a shiny. I'm like, I'm calling it right now just because that just feels that way. You know, just, you know when you get the feeling that something's gonna happen? That's kind of where I'm at. Like I have the random feeling that there will be a shiny that pops up and I'm gonna wanna catch it and then Aaron's gonna kill it. And I'm gonna be like, dang it, Aaron, why'd you have to kill it? Cause the only thing that Aaron would not be able to kill, just kind of casually looking. Oh God, double whirlpools. Um, it's like, I can't like Empoleon. Empoleon's really the only mon that I can think of that Aaron would not be able to one shot. Otherwise he just destroys everything else. And that's what's scary. So he literally has the ability to kill everything. Like, Blastoise, maybe not. But, like... Like, I'd have to kill Eren off in order to get my shiny, which is very scary. It's bad news bears. Oh, wait. You're not letting me... What? What? I don't care that you can't... Oh my god, we literally went all the way around this. Everybody was probably screaming at me for those last 15 minutes of me trying to figure out where to go, and it's... It's casually right there. It's literally right there. Um... Ugh, that's so bad. It was literally... Legitimately right here, the entire... <laughs> the other side. Oh boy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wow. Bro, this music. This music is fire. Oh. I see you. Uh, iron head the lot, yes. Okay, we are faster. Okay. Woo. Yes. Okay, we got the flinch. Kill that thing, please. Let's go. Okay, Aaron, you've helped me out so very much. <laughs> I could not have done this without Aaron's help in this because, oh my gosh. What? That scares me when I have to go against him because his Samurai is power. Hydro Cannon, Water Spout, like, oh, some scary moves that I'm going to have to deal with. Like, imagine if it has Mega Horn. Like, all we've seen are water moves. I don't think that's necessary. Is that Berg? Ha ha, it is Berg. Ha 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 ha. Yay! We got the HM for strength. Do we have to continue? Oh, wait. Do we? Oh, no. It's Caloris. And he goes. Bird gets confused. <laughs> you should probably train before facing me. Yeah, it's pretty standard knowledge that I have to train beforehand. So now I can get my encounter in the sewer. And it is... It is Huntail. Okay. That's not bad. I'm not complaining. It's a Huntail, like... That's... Pretty nice. I'm gonna Magna Bomb and hope it doesn't kill. It is my weakest move. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, nice. And you have a healing move. That's even better. And knowing that, I'm going to go ahead and Steel Wing. Because Steel Wing is just barely stronger. Yeah. Um. Aqua Ring, Brine. Those are some pretty good ones to know. Like, I am down for it knowing those moves. Very down. One. Two. 
three. Bang! Got it. Okay. Huntail is pretty easy to catch, so that's why I, I'm not surprised that I caught that pretty quickly. But, like, honestly, I'm not surprised at all. And we're going to name this McKenna. Or not McKenna, because that's not a male name. Um, Michael. After Michael Hales, who has been commenting on this series every single time. And then, can we actually make our way over here? Yeah, we can. It is an item over here. That's that's good to know that there's an item over there. Bro, Empoleon would have been sweet. I would have named it Aaron because Aaron's... One of Aaron's favorite Pokemon is Empoleon. But, unfortunately, we did not get the Empoleon. A Pokedoll. Actually, that's that's pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. So, can we go in here? Is that a new a new place? That I'm interested in, too. Because I, I don't think it's a new place, but it totally could be. Like, I might as well investigate this while the before the episode starts. Or before the next episode. It might be. It is. Relic Passage. Okay. So it is a new place. So we can get an encounter here. And then we'll end the episode. Encounter here. <laughs> it's a Magby. It's it's a chillin'. It's a chillin'. That's actually very nice to know that we got chillin' in here. I can iron head it right. I mean I know okay, I know chillin' is a Charmander. Oh, I forgot to hit that. Yeah, I kind of casually forgot about that. That's fine, though, because he has to... Right? He has to... Brian, he has to recharge. So we should catch it, because I great balled it. Let's go! Our team just got a lot nicer, a lot better. For Frigg and sure. I am very happy with the way that our team is looking. Chilling the Magby. Come to the squad, my dude. Now, I know that you do, in fact, evolve via level up. So, I do need to keep that in mind. Um, I don't know what level Berg is, but we're going to end the episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Push me to 600 if I'm not there already. But the... And if I am there, great. Let's push it to 650. Have a great rest of your day. Love you all. Peace.